Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 event videos. Today we're going to be doing a daily called Thrill of the Grill. The Hemlock Holes robot cook has asked me to get some meat for a cookout. He's pointing out where I can find some rad stags, but I might have to search uh, on my own to find enough. So, uh, we're going to go over here. So there's a few different places where there are uh, sort of herds of animals. But let's just go over here. And I'll show you. So basically we need to help the cook get some meat. So he can cook for people who don't exist. So rad stag meat. Which we're going to get here. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna drug up for this one just because. These. Yeah, guys are sometimes a bit tough. If there's a pile of them there. I haven't done this quest in a while. Seeing how many yeah guys spawn here, this uh, it's definitely something worth considering. How many out white meat do we have? Four. We need some red stag. Come back. There we go. You know the drill. Don't run away. Is that it? Another Yao Guai on the ridge here. Everybody's just hauling ass. Ooh, there's more. Okay. Have Yao Guai's in space. Uh, my fist doesn't work anymore. Weird. Because I pulled out my camera. There we go. Okay, we have Yao Guai's. Let's see if we can get rad stag meat. And Deathclaw meat's pretty easy. I'll take you to a place for that. Oh, there's a Deathclaw right there. Look at that. Never mind, we don't have to go hunting for a Deathclaw. There's just simply one here. Well, there's at least one Deathclaw meat. Stag. So I think the animals spawn in this area at a higher rate. If you need guaranteed red stag spawns, I know it's really on the opposite side of the map, but if you go to... Where's that farm? There's a farm about here, uh, and there's a uh, like nine albino rad stags at all at all times. I don't farm animals anymore because I'm a herbalist. But the rad seg meat can be good for carry weight. Um, Yao Guai for melee damage. So, glowing meat was sort of my go to. I'd always have just a big pile of glowing meat steaks on. Uh, 
Is there any more rad stags? Come on, one more. Okay. Just to speed this along and save us the hunting, let's go to the farm. It's been over a year since I've been here, so let's see if I remember where it is. I used to keep my survival tent next to it so I could just hop over to my survival tent. Yeah, there it is. So I could just hop over to my survival tent and farm these up. And every 30 minutes or so there would be more. With uh, Butcher's Bounty, the perception perk. Again, you could get uh, enough uh, red stag meat if you needed it. There we go. And we're going to need one more Deathclaw meat. So... There's two, three spots that I know of that have a guaranteed Deathclaw. One is Deathclaw Island over here. The other is Hopewell Cave, which has one. And then there's the Abandoned Waste Dump, which will have two. We're going to pop over to Hopewell Cave because it's the most straightforward, in my opinion. The Abandoned um, Waste Dump... That's a very good consistent spawn location because this here, there's an activation trigger when you enter here. And if it doesn't go off properly, like if the server is very laggy, then this thing won't spawn. But here we go. So. Uh, there's often times magazines and bobbleheads in here. So we're just gonna make quick use of this. It's gonna contain black titanium. Uh, sometimes there are deathclaw eggs here. There's definitely cracked deathclaw eggs. Okay, so one of the fun little places, there's a little hidden secret up here. You can't really get up here without a jetpack. Uh, you, can, you can jump over with marsupial, but it's difficult to, so. Come over here, take his binoculars. Uh, oftentimes there'll be a bobblehead up here and there's a hidden three, there's a sort of hidden footlocker here. See so right in the back corner. So a lot of people don't know about this little secret spot here. But we'll just pop over because we're in Hopewell Cave. Pick. All right, uh, so we're gonna go now. Oh, did, did he not drop death, death claw meat? I just assumed he did. Let me actually loot this guy. Depending on I loot the death claw meat. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's go back over here. So hemlock holes is over here and this is where we have to put the meat on the grill. Before we do that, we're gonna grab this. These shopping baskets are nice because they contain screws. If I'm not mistaken, item. Shopping basket. Plastic, not screws. Those are some nice looking rad stacks, Dave. I just love the sound of raw animal flesh sizzling over a hot flame. Mm -hmm. That'll make a nice thumbnail. Well done, my mighty hunter. Yeah, point that thing <laughs> toward yourself there, buddy. Okay, oh, we're gonna have to do some more. Okay, so let's. I need you to get some taters for the taters. Oh, and if you find corn or carrots, 
that. I could use some of each. We're gonna pop over here to Groves Family Cabin to grab the carrots. So there's part two to this, so we're gonna get some veg. So there's some carrots here at Groves Family Cabin. Punch, 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 punch. There is some carrots, yeah. Um, oftentimes there will be magazines and bobbleheads here. Not today. And then we're gonna pop over to uh, Becker Farm for the potatoes. I'm gonna pop over to Cobbleton Farm because it has potatoes and corn. Now, there's a really great tool, uh, a map tool, called uh, f76.com, I think it's that. I'll, I'll post the, uh, the name of it, I have it bookmarked. And it's very good for finding resources. Um, so if you put, let's say, corn plants, um, then you'll be able to find a map with all the spawn locations of uh, corn. So, that's how I sort of find the locations of a lot of things. So carrots, for instance, uh, would come up on something like that. But again, I'll post an example of the carrots. So, you know, you can see how I get information about this. And I've looked up enough things that I know where a lot of things are because I was looking for it for other reasons. Um, so again, that's where I knew where, that's why I knew that there was carrots at Grove's family cabin. When you're a new player, consulting that map is great. It's a bit cheating um, because you can do things like find out that there's a spawn location for Company T, which I've done recently, um, instead of just going and finding things as you come across them. Okay. Yep. So let's see what we get for this. We should get some kind of enhanced reward because we did more. So we got two recipes and uh, an aid and an ammo item. Uh, overall, I, I probably won't do this event again because the reward isn't that great. And we did spend quite a lot of caps fast traveling. And uh, there's better ways to get all these different resources. Anyways, um, that's, uh, that's it for this event. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. If you've enjoyed these uh, videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.